In Dead by Daylight, camping is a problem you just can't get away from. While it is a viable and very effective form of play, far too often it falls into abuse, causing matches to go completely one-sided and people to disconnect. As it stands right now, campers can only be punished if survivors know they are camping in the first place. Unfortunately, unless you are playing with friends, there's no way for other survivors to know you are being camped without either A, you having kindred, or B, investigating themselves, and then getting chased away or possibly injured and downed. This means that 90% of the time, gens and totems are not getting done, and the killer is being rewarded for standing around doing nothing. And in my opinion, this goes against the spirit of the game overall, and leads to toxic play, and that's not fun to anybody. So after years of play, I decided, why not throw out an idea to significantly alleviate the problem for good? The core of it being to allow camping while automatically punishing it when it's outright abused. It would go something like this. When a killer hooks a survivor, he has 15 seconds to check the area for other survivors, boop gens, lay traps, etc. with no penalty. However, if the killer remains in a 16 meter radius, then the anti-camping feature begins, adding a tier for every 15 seconds that the killer is camping, pausing only when the killer is either A, out of range, or B, in an active chase. Tier 1. The hook survivor's sacrifice is delayed by 20 seconds. Tier 2. The hook survivor's sacrifice is delayed by an additional 20 seconds, in addition to all other survivors gaining a 2% speed bonus to all actions until the camp survivor either dies or is rescued. Tier 3. Hook survivor's sacrifice is delayed by a final 20 seconds and any survivors attempting rescue gain grab protection, meaning they can only be meleeed or hit with a projectile during the unhook action. Overall, this means that blatant face campers will need an additional 60 seconds to remove a player from the game, all while buffing all other survivors. So you can still camp if you really want to, but you're going to pay for it every single time.